privacy is a good thing. It's a box. Hey Siri, open the blinds in the dining room. The house is coming along so incredibly well. There's never been a house built like this one before. And because of that, you have to be get creative with some of the things that you choose to do with the home. So the question is, what do we do for blinds in this place that has incredibly tall and custom windows? You can't just go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up some blinds that fit perfectly for these. You need to get some custom options. So in today's video, we wanna show you what we did for our blinds or what we're doing. They're still not up yet. And we partnered with Budget Blinds for this video. When I first thought of Budget Blinds, I was thinking of like the first home that we lived in and we got some blinds that were custom fit to where it needed to go, but they were just like the metal ones with the strings on it and maybe not up to par to what this beautiful custom home would need. But it turns out I was uh, sorely mistaken because Budget Blinds is the number one provider of custom window coverings in North America. Budget Blind experts come in and for free measure out every window and give us a quote on what it would be. That's pretty big. So these are some of the blinds that we chose for our house. They are Lutron Shading Solutions. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this. It's a box. You open it up and it's blinds come out of this box. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my gosh, look at the hinges. It has screws inside of it. These are the Picos that will actually control it. So this will be the remote. Wait, so it works? Yeah, right now just tap the bottom button there. Yeah, look at that. It's motorized. I'm excited to see it. You could actually connect it to Google Home, to your Apple HomePod, whatever smart device you have. Hey Siri, open the blinds in the dining room. That's what these guys are installing today. I would say, how long do you think it's gonna take you? Like a couple days? Yeah, about two days for this house. Okay, two days and I will be back. It is going to be in this video and I wanna show you and I wanna show the family the power of our magic blinds. They're not really magic, they're just smart. Just smart blinds. The beginning of this video was filmed about four weeks ago and now Budget Blinds is done with all the installation and the home show that we had is over. So now I wanna come back and show you what it looks like with the blinds and the drapes that are all installed because I'm pretty happy about it. It's pretty amazing. There's a few things that I really like about it. One, how quiet these things are. Two, how they are all controlled by my phone or by the tablet on the wall or just our own button that we have in here. And then three, just how hidden they are in the ceiling. Like it doesn't look like when you have wooden shutters all over the windows and even when you have them open, it still takes up a ton of space. These are just hidden right at the top. We also had Budget Blinds put this hardware and these drapes in here, which look beautiful. Just big white like curtain look like things in here. Are you ready to see how quiet this is and how they shut? So if you look in the app right here, I can control every single blind in the house right now on my phone. So if I wanna take the piano room and close it, I can just push that close button and then check it out. It's so quiet. Listen to this, it's closing right now. Notice how quiet that is. Instant privacy. We still don't have anything on the upper window and I feel like we might need something up there. So we'll probably put something in there at some point, but at least we have this one that provides a little bit of shade and also some privacy in the piano room. We have this 17 foot tall door that looks out on this incredible view in our backyard with the pool, with the palm trees, with the mountains right there. The good thing about these windows and the way that our house is situated is we'll never have direct sunlight coming into these windows, even though there's no like cover on the roof, like a patio type thing. But privacy is a good thing. Almost every room in the house has one of these. And this is a touch screen that can control everything in the house. Living room, close, and then look. We have power running directly, and so there's never going to have to be a time where we need to go and change batteries for these giant things that are 17 feet in the air. My third favorite room, we're gonna have to go down and take a look inside of the master bedroom. This room was a little bit tricky because we have this giant window with a view looking out on the grass, and then we have these doors right here, which it's four individual doors. One, two, three, four, five, and then look, here we go. We've got these ones coming down right here. They're all individual. Running power to the doors just didn't make sense because you're opening and shutting the doors. You can't really have a wire that goes inside of there. 
So for these ones, they are battery powered. We put D cell batteries inside of them and they last anywhere from three to five years. We still have the bathroom door open. So there's still some sun coming in from the bathroom. You could be laying in your bed. Ooh, it's the first time I've ever got on this bed. And I can continue to lay here and be lazy and everything is coming up right now. And we also had to do some drapes inside of this room because they're just so pretty. It just looks so great with the couch right there, with the artwork on the wall. To my fourth favorite room, um, this is Lincoln's room. It is sweet. All right, open up. It is such a cool room with the really, really high ceilings. But with that giant window that's out front, Having blinds like this are incredibly safe. Lincoln's room is one of my favorites in the whole house. And especially, I don't know what we're gonna do like once we actually move in, because we kind of set these shoes and everything up here for the home show that is over now. The shoes look really cool. The Jimmy John's clock looks really cool. The YouTube skateboard and the golf balls, like everything looks really cool in here. But what is he actually going to put? in these shelves. These ones have fabric on the exterior. Some of the ones that we used in the front are black metal that go along with those windows. My fifth favorite place is a place that you usually wouldn't think of having blinds in. I'm talking about the garage. Today is the first day that I actually got to park a car inside of the garage. I kind of like them open. My Blue Roadster needs some sunshine on it. And for the last place, oh, we have to go outside by the beautiful view. Oh my gosh, look at that reflection of the trees and the trees. I cannot believe that we're gonna live here someday. Within the next week, we're gonna be here. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, we already live here. The studio, the studio, here it is. What the heck do you think you're doing over here? You're supposed to be doing homework. I'm in nubs. And you're eating m and <laughs> They're <laughs> really good. And admiring the Roadster. Oh my gosh, the Roadster. We just barely were in the garage looking at the blue Roadster. Mm -hmm. It looks so good in the garage, but I was thinking it could use a friend or two in there. Studio on. Bam. Ta da! Whoa. Even the sign turned on. Hopefully, we're going to be filming a lot of what's inside videos and unboxings from right here on this table in this room. We have a camera that's up on the ceiling. We've got our lights on the ceiling. As beautiful as it is where we live with all of the natural light out there, it might look pretty right now, but if I'm filming and some clouds come over and the light changes, the video could look different in different portions of the video. So sometimes we just want to control the blinds. Over the next few weeks, we have some AV guys that are in here that are going to come through and make the programming even better to where I can just push studio and close the studio. It's gonna be even better once we really get this programming dialed into all of the software and everything that our Control 4 system can do. It's also not 100% dark in here. We still have these windows that are up top. We're going to have to find a solution for that and get some other blinds, but at some point our studio will be perfect, but we're gonna need like another month or two to get it all ready. And then look, I can go up here, turn on the light here, Turn the light however I want, and bam. Isn't that cool how it like, turns orange and yellow? And There's a lot of things in this house where I'm just like, I cannot believe that our house is this fancy and we have this nice of features. So if you're interested in getting budget blinds, there are local installers all across North America. So whether it's a very high end version like the Lutron blinds that we have, or you want more of a lower end but still custom blind, Budget Blinds, we'll put a link in the description. You can check them out. And uh, thank you Budget Blinds for sponsoring this video. And stay tuned for the next house update. We've got a couple of really good ones. <laughs> that works. Your voice is so deep now. You don't have a high pitch one anymore. Sorry. And then also, that was a good idea, Lincoln. Mm. Those are so good. Ah! It's so long, I can't even reach to the end.